Uh, okay, here we go. This kind of hurt my feelings right here. Fred Hampton's gravesite gets shot up annually by police officers. Wow. Wait, that's what? crazy. Wait, what the what? You know what Fred Hampton is? No. Look at this. <laughs> I don't know who that is. No, 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 no. I'm just saying, like, you getting shot up by police. Like, the he was the leader of the, black, of the Black Panther yeah. Party. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about, like, That's so who would pull up yeah. to a graveside and shoot it up? Well, no, he was the leader of the Black Panther Party. Mm. It's just in general, bro. What yeah, so they said annually they go to his gravesite and they shoot so, it. So it's, it's bullet holes all in his. Yo, look at this picture. They, they shoot up That's his son. Oh, that's what I'm saying. saying. That's oh, why I was like, wow. why would you shoot up a tombstone every yeah. year? Is that his son? Yep, that's his son. So they killed him. They killed him when his wife was uh, pregnant with his son. Mm-hmm. Mm. Did you see what's the what's the movie called? Judah and the um, yeah, the and Black the Black Messiah. Messiah. The Black Messiah yeah. yeah. So yeah, man. But, it, but you watch you watch Dear Mama. Yep. And, and they talk about it there too. I and I'm almost done with that. That's hey, I ain't gonna lie. I thought that I seen everything like Tupac related, and I was like, yeah, I don't no, think I need to see another yeah, documentary. Yeah. That it really yeah. opened up. Yeah, this is like from yes. any point of view. You know what I'm saying? And you know, she took on his estate after he died, so it's pretty much a lot of shit that didn't get talked about that's getting talked about. And it's a lot of like he did like a lot of uh, daytime TV shows. That we never seen, like interviews we never seen, and how he talked. And it's crazy listening to all his early music because we know about the hit him up, Tupac, mm -hmm. yeah. from Tupac. But we don't really know about the message he was spreading before that. You know what I'm saying? The the music he was making before that. So it made me look at him different. I was watching it earlier today because I'm like, man, I ain't really watch shit like that. So let me watch it. And I watched a couple episodes and I'm like, damn. I look at him at a different light now. I look at his mom. Hey, me his too. Because yeah. he really, he really was on that activist talk and everything yeah. like that. Man, it's it's crazy because you can see like the genius that he had and the switch that he did when it came to his music. And it's and it is kind of sad too because it's like, damn, how did he go from this to just getting turned yeah. the fuck out? But it, legendary it, it, either either way. But he was so fucking young. But it was a series of events, though. He just kept getting into shit to where it was like he was angry. Yeah, it it, 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 you know, it was the, you know, the case where lady said he did what he did mm -hmm. to her that made him just go over the top because he's like, I make music to, you know, to power my women. Like, you know, what I'm saying my black women. I love my black women. How can y'all think that I did something mm -hmm. to this woman? And, you know, he even beat those allegations, but it was something else that stuck to make him stay in jail. But after that, you know, being in jail in New York, you know what I'm saying? You you turned up. Being in jail, period. This That's a cage. You know what I'm Especially saying? Back then. Back then. But he was so fucking young, too, though, bro. Like, it's, it's crazy. They they fucked his mind up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he started getting to the I don't give a fuck. Yeah, yeah. A that's when... That's when he when he got out of jail, he started spitting. That, that's when he became a new person. Because after that, it was no turning back then. No, nah, that that documentary was good though. Yeah. I got one more episode left though. But how I many, like, how many, how many It's five, left? I think. Oh, I'm at I'm at number four. So yeah, I got two. Yeah, more. it's five though. But I, man, that one right there. But no, nah, that's fucked up though. So yeah, Fred Hampton, man. That's crazy. He like, was hella young too, though. No, nah, but just to think like. The cops doing that. Like, you yeah. hate the movement that much. Cointel Pro, bro. That FBI did and that. And you know them. it got it. Yeah. They uh, was uh, all J young. They took. They Jay took, Edgar Hoover was yeah, not playing. Yeah. He 20, was not playing. Took 21 of them to jail, bro. It's talking about they're going to get all this time. And they had, like, plants. They had uh, people that was working for the <laughs> FBI. FBI that was. Oh, uh, my God. What what they saying? I'm gonna read it. MJ yeah. looking at home different with the hoodie back. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh, hey man, come on man, oh, come on man. God. You would catch that coffee. <laughs> <laughs> hey, all right, look, they asking in the chat. Um, I think you told this story before, but if you didn't, they want to know about the TFT rail situation that happened. Uh, I was just talking to what's the name about it. You were just talking to T-Rail about, about it. About right. it. So tell the tell the tell the chat break it down for them what's going on and everything like that. All right, so you know we at the Crip Lives Matter video shoot. So you know what I'm saying I'm walking out and I walk they walking in. 
So it's him and it's four more other niggas from Hoover come in. And, you know, it's a small little walkway. So, bruh, bump me with his his good shoulder. But I know... I know it wasn't. It wasn't. I know it wasn't nothing malicious or nothing. And the niggas he walked in with, I know them because we all go to the same barbershop. So I'm like, all right, bet, all right, cool. But then I go outside, and I didn't even TF and them wasn't there when I first got there. So now they out there, and the nigga take his shirt off, and I read his tattoo, and his tattoo say Blaine Kansas. So I'm like, Blaine Kansas. I'm like, what is that? So then him and his homies got on me like. Like, what's up, cuz? It's 5 1 Trouble. I'm like, all right, cuz, Lantana Block. And they're like, oh, okay, for sure. They was like, Blaine, Kansas, that's our street. And I'm like, oh, okay. I'm like, them, them the first niggas I ever met from, from Trouble. I ain't, you know, we we from Compton, they from LA, but. We don't run into each we other. Don't, we don't run up. into each other at all. It's and like, then, it's, it's too far. And then they like they like the little brothers to, who, to the Hoover set. You know what I'm saying? So if you. Just put it like this. If you run into some Hoovers, nine times out of ten, it's probably a nigga from Trouble from there, but he never going to say Trouble. Mm -hmm. He just going to go along with the Hoover set. You know what I'm saying? And that's what it was. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, I'm like, all right, Trouble trouble Gangsters, I heard of y'all before. All right, bet. Well, I'm from Lantana. You know what I'm saying? And all I was doing was reading this tattoo, but I ain't, I wasn't turning nothing down. Like, nigga, I'm, 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 I'm leaving. I came to the video shoot from the probation office. You know what I'm saying? It was right down the street. So I'm like, nigga, you got a video shoot? He's like, yeah. I'm like, oh, nigga, you two minutes away. I'm not even going to get in my car. I'm about to walk down there. So I walked down there and, you know what I'm saying, was just chilling on the set all day. Hey, these niggas is crazy in the chat. Oh, yeah. tell the real story. Nigga, Streets that's the... know the truth. You turned it down. Man, Man listen. Hey, for the record, hey. this is who I'm under from my neighborhood. This is my real big homie. Hey. It ain't nobody turning down nothing hey. over here. I'm going to put it like this for y'all niggas who got me fucked up. <laughs> listen, <laughs> listen, listen, my niggas. Listen. Nigga, I, I brought my hood back from the dead, nigga. <laughs> my hood was my hood was, quit, was quiet for a long ass time, bro, until I came around and I got about my shit, bro. So y'all got me fucked up. I ain't turning shit down, nigga, on everything. I am Lantana, nigga. Woo! I am Lantana, nigga. Whoa! Period. Everything, everything, nigga. And then, and then his little homie and came they, in and, a lot and of, bought this a lot, shit global, hey, 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 a lot of niggas didn't know what Lantana was until I told them about it, bro. Thanks, though. Know what I'm saying? BG homies, BG homies wasn't kicking up dust the way the Tiny Gangsters was kicking up dust, nigga. Hey, and that's all I'm going to say. And I wouldn't even been from the turf if it wasn't for your nephew. Man, exactly. Real shit. Crash out time. <laughs> it no. ain't no crash out. Y'all just need. I mean, I hey, ain't in front of the camera all the time, so these niggas, these niggas don't know me like that, bro. But hey, whole revamped it, man, and I bought us on a bigger yeah, scale. Yeah, exactly. You feel me? I'm talking about on the on the street scale. Oh, though. on the street scale for sure. You no, know I'm saying. Listen, yeah, y'all, you and and flow and all y'all was the reason I yeah. said, all right, cuz I'm getting put on over here. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Because y'all niggas could have easily. Been from I could have went the yeah, other way. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? But his nephew, who was also a sagger, you know what I mean? A sagger? Nah, nigga, that's what we say. No, that's what we say, nigga. What does that mean? Sagger, that nigga, uh, that's a low, that's in the street. That's a, that's, that's, that's a nigga that's that's doing everything, beat niggas up, you know, you know what I mean? Whatever else. Stuff. Yep. Like Japanese. Hey. Yeah. yeah, I'm like, hey. is this a foreign language? I don't no, know. No, and that was and that was my right hand man. Yeah. Nigga lived with me. You exactly. couldn't even you couldn't even blink at me without the nigga. You know what I'm saying? That's how we used to get. Oh man, I tell you what, when that nigga got locked up, I was in trouble. Everybody, oh yeah, because you got everybody, to catch all them fades. Hey, everybody took everything out on me because of my homeboy. Yeah, yeah, it was a. Uh, but that's the reason why the homies respect me because nigga, I ain't turned down nothing. I stood tall throughout whatever, any type of situation, whether the police came, you feel me? Whether mm -hmm. nigga, it was some, some, gu some gunplay, whether it was some fights, whatever the yeah. fuck it is, a nigga always stood 10 toe and hey. niggas was on it. It was, hey. and, and, and you ain't shit if the police ain't never whooped your ass and took you over there and dropped you off in a rival neighborhood, nigga. You ain't shit. 
If you ain't never had that happen, you ain't shit from where you from, bro. I'm not shit from where I'm from. I guess I ain't shit from where I'm from. <laughs> you ain't from nowhere. <laughs> get your ass beat, niggas. Niggas break into your car. Niggas flatten your tires. You don't want to tell who sell dope, who got the guns. They going to do whatever they can. Bring you in for no reason. All that dumb shit. I'm I'm not trying to glorify it, but that's what I have to go through. Nigga, I remember. Nigga, I remember the, the motherfuckers. They questioned me about you before. Yeah, exactly. You know what I'm saying? That's y'all. Let me know, niggas. Pictures of the, in the in the in the station. I'm like what? And then they come and break into my house. You know what I'm saying? Not not just raid my house. They break into my house. Nigga, nigga in the drawers. Oh, you Jehovah? Oh, I'm looking at them like, yeah. They said so. Ad, the police whooped you and dropped you off in the Ops neighborhood, nigga. That shit happened a gang of times. Yeah. Bent, bent, bent the nigga keys, all type of... Listen, my hood on my block is where we call that the top. Everybody was in front of my mm-hmm. house. That's where all my homies hang out. So anytime the cops would come, they would know what time it is. Hove, he's from the hole. We got two sides. He the hole boys, I'm a top boy. That's where our sexes is and shit like that, like... Like Hov said, man, don't let this motherfucking camera fool y'all, man. Niggas joke, niggas nice, niggas change their life when it come down to shit. But man, that shit was real, hundred percent. Yep, and y'all seen them? I know them. I know they didn't seen all them Compton documentaries with the police. Y'all didn't seen Blondie. No, I'm saying y'all didn't seen Lad. Y'all didn't seen they Reggie see White Jr. Hey, they crazy talking about pause. <laughs> what? No, but that's what that's that's what we call. No, that's what we call. The, the, that's the top. The, that's the and top of the hood. The that's the top that's of the, the hood. That's the top of the hood. Like, huh? Yeah. And the hole, because it's only one way in, one way out. It's dead end streets where this, I where this I grew Caldwell, up. This Caldwell on my neck yeah, is my block. Yeah, it's cul-de-sac. It's three cul-de-sacs where I'm from. This Caldwell on my neck is on my bo- That's This is my block. The 2418 that's on my legs, that's the street. That's the hood. Gang tattoo. Oh, yeah. We got them on us. That's what I'm saying. That's the shit. Got them on us. So, so I said, top so boys. you're telling me I'm with a gang member? Oh yeah, oh what you God. thought? <laughs> yeah, she's being sarcastic. <laughs> they said, "Hey yo, the hole." Nah, hey look, yeah. the hole is different though. You got the top, you got the hole, and then suicide is from the third. That's mm-hmm. his. That's suicide. That's what suicide ran. You and know then, what I'm saying? And then you got the park side. They the park side. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's 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 different though, but it's like you know, but niggas are getting into it and be like, nigga, you from the hole, I'm from the top. You know what I'm saying? Like, it sounds it sounds a little sus. You got, now. you got the block, you got the blocks too, though. Like in yeah. between the streets, is in between where AD uh, grew up and where I'm at. It's it's you know, it's streets that run east and west. That's we well, call the, the blocks. The neighborhood is so nice. Yeah, bro, we, we we live on the west side. The west side bro, is the best side. Everywhere on the but, west side, but, of everywhere but, you are in L.A. But, is the not, best side. but not even that, though. Like, everybody says that when they come to L.A. They be like, damn, this is the hood. All this shit look nice. It's like, nigga, bro, have you ever seen the 60s, the fucking over, I mean, Man, the over hills? The over hills got, the over hills got, got five got, million dollar right? houses. And they loaks, though, right. over there. That shit is crazy. Nigga, I got homies from fucking uh, 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 Ghost Town, all that shit, bro, uh, who got pools in their backyard, bro. San Pedro, Nigga, San Pedro, that really five million dollar house. You know what I'm saying? But everybody think, oh, Compton look like the trap. Nigga, if you go drive to Compton, it ain't no place in Compton that look bad, though. Nah, it is some places that look bad on the well, east look, side. Well, look, no, the east side is bad. On the east side. The east side is bad. Yeah. And then when you go to some of the, I mean, you can say the Wilmington, Wilmington Arms and oh, shit yeah, too. Yeah. You feel me? But nah, yeah. Like he was like, bro. He thinking when he's going to the hood, he about to see some crazy ass, you know, bums outside, motherfuckers banging all over the place everywhere. Like yeah. it ain't the same. It ain't bro. the same. Outside ain't the same no more. Outside the old water and water. You, I mean, you go, you go to certain, you go to certain neighborhoods where. People got no choice but to still live here. Like, like, like maybe like Park Village, they got the Wilmington Orange. Mm-hmm. Niggas Sunny still, Coves. Sunny Coves. Niggas are still in there. But everywhere else, everybody done moved out. So some certain neighborhoods look different now. Real A lot shit. of niggas in jail from when we was outside. MJ from Human Nature Crib. 
Human nature trip. Come on. <laughs> so, so I said, MJ for the corner store of blood. <laughs> Oh my, oh my god. god. Yeah, no they be again, coming bitch. with it at the chat, but yeah, Com- Compton is, is I mean, it look different now, bro. It's, it, I mean, it's still. It tripped me out when we got an in and out. I said, dang. Nigga, after 30 years, <coughs> we get an in and out. We got an in and out in Compton now. Can you go to it because it's on your side or not? No, it's right outside our neighborhood. Nigga, it's right there. Yeah, it's He's right like, outside our neighborhood. It's right there. there. It's on the other side right. of the street. Shout out to like Stevenson Village, too. It's right outside Stevenson yeah, Village. That shit's right there. But I was like, damn, nigga. I was driving back. I was like, fuck. It's different, man. Took down Coco's, man, where Grandma used to. Yeah, yeah. I was like, fuck, man. I ain't going to lie, though, man. Every time I drive past there, I get emotional. Yeah, it's different, bro. It's, it's different, bro. Super, though. Because I'm like, man, niggas lost so many people over there. Yeah, but thank God we made it out of there, though. True. Yeah, I mean. That, but that's why, like, no telling where it be if we still be in there. Oh, it'd be bad. It'd be bad. But I mean, I I, under, I understand everybody don't have the ability to get up out of there and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Luckily, right. man, God had blessed the nigga to where I can. You know what I'm saying? But it took it took for some unfortunate situations to get us up out of there. Though we didn't leave under the best circumstances, but. I mean, we still made it out of that motherfucker though, and then made it made a way for ourselves afterwards. And you know what's crazy? Cause before I left the neighborhood, and before shit started really going good for a nigga, that was probably the most peaceful time. Like it was no bullshit happening for a while. Yeah. Like n- nothing for a while, and I really had got the intuition. I was like, you know what? Out of nowhere. I just had like a real intuition out of nowhere. I was like, if I stay here much longer, I'm going to die. And I really was stressing out. Credit was fucked up. You feel me? I ain't even know nothing about credit like that. Mm -hmm. And I started making a little bit of show money, but not enough to sit there and like, you know what I'm saying? Like move out and take care of myself and shit like that. But I really felt trapped. And if it wasn't for my uncle Chris, my uncle Chris, man, let me live with him for for four or five months. Like nigga, I don't, yeah. I don't know where what would happen to me because the day that I left, the next exact day, my neighbor got killed. Well, not killed, but he got shot. What six times? Nine times. Nine times. He got shot nine times in your in, driveway. In, in my driveway. Right yeah. after I left. So I know everything happens for a reason and shit like that. I had that intuition for a reason. You know what I'm saying? Luckily, the homie is still here. But yeah, man. shit was crazy, man. Yeah. Not to bore y'all though with our old hood stories and shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But we yeah, got yeah, to yeah, give yeah, y'all yeah. a little rundown about yeah, 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 yeah. where we grew up. All right, let's move on. Let's get to something else. Let's see. What's a good one? What's a good one? Oh my God. Oh my God. God damn, man. I wasn't going to read it. I wasn't going to read it. Hey, hold on. Hey, hold on. No, no, no. One thing, though, the chat is so creative, bro. I can't sit there but laugh on my. That's pretty good. That shit's hilarious, bro. Let's move on. We got, we got the deadliest game. Oh my God. Y'all definitely the deadliest game. Absolutely. Tell them. 